I went for my regular yearly checkup and I felt great. I even said to the doctor, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. My husband and I were sitting in the room and the door opens and my surgeon was walking towards me and then I saw a second body in a white coat behind him. And I looked at my husband and I said, oh, there's two of them, it's not good news. He said, Lear, I want you to see a hematologist. I thought I had like low iron or something. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was diagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome. Cancer is so prolific that it just, it touches everybody, but when it gets real up and close to you, it's just horrifying. The best way I could describe it was a very surreal moment. It's almost like time stood still. My surgeon said, it's not good news, but we're gonna be okay. Over the past 15 years, the Helen F. Graham Cancer Center and Research Institute has transformed cancer care in Delaware. With nearly two million patient visits since its opening, the Graham Cancer Center is recognized as a national model for multidisciplinary cancer care and a top enroller in clinical trials. Today, we treat more than 70% of all cancer patients in Delaware. We're making tremendous progress in reducing cancer mortality in our state and in improving the lives of the people we have the privilege of serving. We are proud that the Helen F. Graham Cancer Center and Research Institute is one of the most advanced cancer centers in the country, where we provide a vast array of cancer outpatient services under one roof, making care more convenient, efficient, and effective. And colleagues in our on-site Center for Translational Cancer Research are working each day to extend the boundaries and accelerate the cure. In the last 15 years, the Helen F. Graham Cancer Center and Research Institute has really had remarkable progress. We now know that there are certain genetic mutations that put patients at risk for developing cancer. When genetic counselors do a family history, if individuals have those genetic mutations, then there are ways of preventing those cancers. We are the only community cancer center in the country that has a gene editing institute. The Gene Editing Institute uses technology recently developed known as CRISPR. It's this incredibly small little genetic tool that can now manipulate human cells, both to correct them and to disable tumor cells in growth. Most people think it's the breakthrough of the decade or even the century. But discovering how cancer stem cells drive tumor growth. The analogy is that the cancer stem cells are like dandelions in your lawn. If you don't get rid of the cancer stem cell, you don't cure the patient. Dr. Bruce Bowman is targeting cancer stem cells, which would potentially cure colon and rectal cancer. This is just the beginning. We're going to be doing even greater things. Dr. Jennifer Sims Mortada is evaluating new biomarkers to evaluate breast cancer. One of the problems we have in breast cancer is that there's a lot of overdiagnosis and overtreatment. Our blood test will help to identify those women that need treatment versus those that don't. Eliminating a lot of unnecessary biopsies. Studies have shown that it might save up to around $4 billion a year. Part of the success of the Helen F. Graham Cancer Center and Research Institute are partnerships that have been developed over the years. Dr. Mark Borowski, Kanungog, and Stephanie Jean are working with our colleagues at the Wistar Institute for the early diagnosis of ovarian cancer. We have two very exciting collaborations with the Wistar Institute. One is developing better biomarkers of ovarian cancer detection. In addition, we're working in the area of clear cell ovarian cancer. It's a very unique partnership. There are very few centers that have this type of working relationship. We have one of the highest clinical trial accrual rates in the United States. All of these programs have led to better processes of care, better quality of life, better support for our patients. We all work as a team, and we're all geared to the same goal. And in all of these multidisciplinary centers, there's a nurse navigator to help the patient get through the matrix of cancer care. There's no question that the advances over the last 15 years at the Graham Center have allowed individuals to be here who wouldn't have been here. Our cancer center is named after Helen F. Graham, who dedicated her life to helping others as a special education teacher. We are honored every day to pay tribute to her energy, enthusiasm, and conviction as we serve those in need. At Christiana Care, we serve together, 
guided by our values, excellence, and love. We hear time and time again, at Christianic Care, they took great care of me. I felt loved. That's the experience that we aim to achieve for each and every person we serve. I would just like to say, first and foremost, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. There's never been a moment that I didn't feel well cared for. All through my whole treatment, the nurses were fantastic and the doctors were fantastic. They were extraordinary, every single solitary person. My experience actually exceeded my expectations, which was phenomenal. I am convinced that I would not be sitting here today if it weren't for Helen F. Graham Cancer Center and the Christiana Care Health System.